In 1971 in New York City, there was a man named Eugene Smith. He was a journalist at a magazine company called Life Magazine. That morning he met his boss, Robert Hayes, to ask him to open his photography exhibition. Robert was asked to give a speech, but Robert refused because he was too busy to help Eugene who had worked for him for decades with his exhibition that could help his financial problems. Robert then gave a check to Eugene, but Eugene outright tore up the check and left Robert's office as if he was defending his pride. Eugene's current health condition was far from healthy. His cells were considered older than his current age. He had sold his belongings to meet his needs. That night, Eugene had a woman from Fujifilm visiting his place who turned out to have an appointment to make an advertisement with him. Her name is Aileen, a Japanese who worked for Fujifilm. One evening, while spending time with Eugene, Aileen said that it was not a coincidence that she was involved with his job. There was a company in Japan called Chiso that had been dumping waste containing mercury into the sea for years, resulting in water pollution, leading to sickness due to mercury poisoning and even death. Aileen needed a great photographer like Eugene to bring the world's attention. Upon hearing about this, Eugene outright rejected it because he had never been to Japan again since 25 years ago, due to the trauma when he was covering the battlefield. He immediately told Aileen to leave his apartment, but before leaving, Aileen gave him an envelope regarding that problem. That night, Eugene couldn't sleep, so he decided to look at the contents of the envelope that Aileen gave him. The contents were several photos and pieces of articles that showed how serious the problem was, so the next day, Eugene came to the office and barged in in the middle of the meeting. He pointed out the crisis in Japan to Robert, which he was sure would make Life magazine get an award if it covered this. He wanted Robert to send him to Japan to cover this crisis wholly. It turned out the New York Times often covered this problem, but only on a small scale, so this could be a golden opportunity for their magazine company to make a complete report about the environmental crisis that caused hundreds of deaths. Long story short, Eugene was sent to Japan with Eileen. They were welcomed with an unpleasant scene where a man was seen carrying the corpse of a small child. Aileen took Eugene to Tatsu and Masako's house for dinner afterward. They also talked about this contamination. Their eldest child, Akiko, had cerebral palsy, but they suspected that was not the real thing their daughter suffered from. Mitsuo was a truck driver for Chiso Corporation, so he knew a lot about the problem. The next morning, Eugene started taking photos of the surrounding environment. He wanted to show that an environmental crisis was happening and that people there were suffering from it. Aileen then introduced Eugene to a man named Kiyoshi, one of the activists who fought against the crisis. Kiyoshi also suffered some kind of disease because of this crisis, the disease they called Minamata, even his children also suffer from the same disease. According to Kiyoshi, Chisa refused to accept that the outbreak and the toll were thanks to their company. They thought that the people's disease had nothing to do with them. He could only hope that with Eugene, they could provide more resistance against the company. After that, they went to Chiso Corporation where there was a meeting of activists led by a man named Mitsuo who told them about the impact of the waste dumped by the company. They then tied themselves at the entrance to express their protest. This incident really made Yujin overwhelmed and he preferred to get drunk to relieve his stress. He even gave his camera to a teenager named Shichiru, who he met in the park. He questioned his decision to come to Japan. This made Aileen feel disappointed and angry at him. Kiyoshi then took Eugen to a small room that he had built where he could scan the films he had taken so that Eugen could feel at home. That night, Eugen got a call from Robert informing him that there would be an environmental conference held by the UN in a month and that they hoped Eugen could finish his report within a week or it would be a waste of time and a complete failure. With that, Eugen decided to immediately start his work. Kiyoshi handed over the camera and some films from the residence which Eugen might be able to use. Not only that, Shigeru also came to return the camera that Eugene gave him this afternoon. For information, Shigeru was also suffering from the Minamata disease. Eugene then taught him about photography, knowing he had an interest in it. Meanwhile, the presence of Eugene, an American journalist, had been known by the head of the company, Juniki Nojima. However, because Eugene was alone, Juniki didn't consider it a significant threat at all. The other day, Eugene went to the Chiso Hospital. The hospital was guarded by officers, so they had to disguise themselves so they could enter and cover the patients who were being treated there. Eugen could feel what the patients experienced there. When they wanted to go to the children's room, unfortunately, they were caught by the officers on duty. They had to run away. During the chase, Kiyoshi somehow managed to find a hidden lab belonging to Dr. Yamashia, a doctor who used to work when the patient zero was found. Kiyoshi was sure there had been a test regarding the outbreak, so they decided to search the room to find the proof slash it was discovered that there was once an experiment in that place that was carried out on animals and the results were surprising. Cats that were given a drink from the water contaminated with the company's waste showed the same symptoms, namely convulsions and paralysis. 
More precisely, symptoms that were shown by people with methylmercury poisoning that damaged the brain tissue. It turned out that the company already knew about it but continued to let this happen for the last 15 years. On another day, the protest action led by Mitsuo continued where Eugene and Aileen did coverage there. But at that time, Eugene was arrested by the company officers and was taken to meet Junichi, the head of the company. Without further ado, Junichi explained that in this company, they developed a good chemical compound which they named the cyclase. Junichi also invited Eugene to go on a trip to the factory to see firsthand what they produced. Junichi said more than 60% of local residents worked there to produce chemicals that were used for various things, but they didn't discuss the waste at all. Junichi also mentioned Eugene's financial condition and alluded to him for not being able to provide the best living for his children. Junichi then gave him 50 grand a hand over the film before Eugene returned to America. Junichi told him to leave the matter in Japan, especially the Minamata outbreak. For Junichi, the people were a small sacrifice for the good thing that his company had created. Of course, Eugene strongly refused it. In another place, the activists gathered to discuss the action that must be taken, but one of them seemed to disagree with the demand that Chiso must stop operating. He also said that the residents had agreed to receive compensation regarding this outbreak, which was proven by the agreement book that was already in his hands. The residents insisted on looking at the content and found a counterfeit signature even for the deceased. The activists were even more convinced that the company was guilty, especially after paying one of the residents to tell a false story. On another day, Eugene and Aileen visited Masako, who at that time was feeding Akiko. Akiko was severely deformed since birth because Masako's womb was poisoned by mercury, even though Masako was not affected by it. At that time, Aileen told Eugene to look after Akiko, because she had to accompany Masako to the market. At first, Eugene didn't want to do it, but he could never refuse Aileen's request. In the end, Eugene took care of Akiko. He sang a song to entertain her. Later that evening, when Eugene was taking a picture of Mitsuo's family, two officers showed up and searched the house, but instead of searching, the two officers seemed to just mess up the house and just leave. This made Mitsuo and her family afraid. Fortunately, from the incident, Eugene was able to take several pictures. From the incident, Eugene was even more enthusiastic about exposing this injustice. He started working to compile his report. He worked tirelessly for days. One night, Eugene and Aileen were shocked by an attack on Eugene's workplace. A fire broke out. Eugene tried to go inside and try to save what he could, but everything was burned to the ground. Eugene was distraught by this incident. All of his work, his equipment, the films, all were burnt down. The next morning, Eugene, who was very stressed, called Robert in America. He told him that he couldn't do this job anymore. Everything was burned down and there was nothing left. Eugene drunkenly said that he should have just accepted the money from Juniki and left Japan so he could pay off his debts and provide for his children. Robert was furious to hear that, especially after risking everything he had, including his reputation. He told Eugene to return with his report no matter how. That afternoon, Shigeru, who was walking on the beach, found Eugene sleeping in the canoe after getting drunk. He was still holding the camera that Eugene had lent him. After Eugene woke up, he had a conversation with Shigeru and taught him how to take photos until the film ran out. One night, Eugene approached the activists. He asked Mitsuo to translate what he was about to say. He said that he needed help from the residents. He wanted to be invited when the residents spent precious time with their families and he wanted to take pictures. Eugene also asked for those who would willingly do it so that Eugene could take the moments and find the meaning of their struggle. Upon hearing Eugene's words, everyone who was presented agreed and that returned Eugene's enthusiasm. The next day, Eugene started working. He started taking pictures of the affected people and the surrounding environment. In short, on March 7, 1971, the residents gathered in front of Chiso Corporation, which coincided with the shareholders' meeting. The activists demanded to take part in the meeting. During the meeting, Mitsu, as the leader of the activists, said that the company must be held responsible for its negligence. Outside, the mass couldn't contain their anger anymore and started a riot, resulting in the same response from the company staff. Eugene got pushed away by the commotion and accidentally entered the company grounds. He was badly beaten by the guards. At the same time, the meeting hall, Junichi said that he was concerned about what happened, but he casually said that he wouldn't be able to pay the compensation to the residents who were victims of the outbreak. Kigeoshi, who heard this, became angry and tried to kill himself by cutting his veins in front of Junichi and said that the blood was Junichi's responsibility. Meanwhile, Eugene, who was being treated at the hospital, was visited by someone he saw just before he blacked out after he was beaten. The person left something for him and immediately left. When Aileen came, Eugene told her to check the content. And to their surprise, it was all the films that they thought had been burned down yesterday. It turned out the man was someone in the company who was ordered to burn down the place, 
but it turned out that he was secretly against the injustice that was happening by saving the evidence. Yuji and Aileen immediately returned to Masako's house where Masako finally agreed to have her picture taken together with Akiko. The photo of Masako bathing Akiko was the last photo that Eugene took in Japan. In short, Eugene's report was finally sent to Robert and it arrived at the Life magazine office. When he saw the results of Eugene's work, Robert immediately cried at the terrible and heartbreaking facts that happened in Minamata. Thousands of copies were printed. The environmental crisis and waste pollution became the magazine's headline. This finally reached Junichi. Eventually, Chiso Corporation had to find a way to pay compensation for what they had done over the last 15 years. In the end, the activists succeeded in winning a lawsuit from the court. In 1973, Chiso Corporation fully reimbursed the medical costs and living allowances for the victims of the Minamata outbreak. It was the largest amount of compensation awarded by a Japanese court. In 2013, the Japanese government announced that Japan had recovered from mercury pollution. Life magazine released its last issue on this case on December 29, 1972, and the photo of Masako and Akiko in the bathtub was announced as the most important photo in the history of journalism photography. Eugene and Aileen married in Japan in 1971. Eugene died in 1978 due to a direct injury he suffered during the riot at Chiso Corporation. Aileen remained at Minamata and has been an activist against the environmental crisis to this day.